What is going on you guys? Christian's Arcade Adventures here. Today we are at this arcade and we're going to be focusing on this game. It's called Drop the Hook. It's made by Bandai Namco, the same creators of Barbara Cutlight. You've probably seen this game. This is more popular. But this is Drop the Hook. Uh, this game was released, I believe, in like 2011, somewhere around then. I'm not sure the ex exact year. So I, this is my machine. I got this recently. We're going to be showing you guys how to win on this game. So let's get right into the video. So first off, it's called Drop the Hook because you're trying to drop the hook of these prizes. What you do is you move it right and you move it up. You're moving this thing right and up, and you're trying to fit this cylinder thing into one of these holes. So for example, if you fit it in the triangle hole, you can win a brand new iPad. Um, so prizes can vary, and just like all or most arcade games, most arcade prize games, this game is rigged, and you can set it to a payout rate, meaning that you can only win after each certain uh, prize slot has made enough money to pay out that prize. If it's not ready to pay out, you won't win, and I'll show you exactly how operators set that and how that actually works. So first, to play is simple. Um, aim for the center of the shape to win. So you use this button to go right, this button to go up, and you're trying to fit that cylinder into each one of the holes. Yes, each, um, each prize hole, even though they're different shapes, they're all exactly the same size. And yes, the cylinder does fit in every single one of these shapes. That's not how it's rigged. Um, so it is big enough uh, to actually fit into the prize hole. That's not the issue. The issue is whenever you let go of this last button here, if you are right over, directly over, similar to Keymaster, uh, if you're right over the winning hole, the machine knows that and the machine will move it a little bit more forward to make you miss uh, too high. So I'll show you how that works. Right now, this is set on skill based. So it's 100% skill. If you're good enough, you can win every try. So watch, I'll press this button, you hold it down and it moves right. We're gonna go for this orange one right here. We're gonna see if we can get it. All right, that looks pretty good. Now we use this one, we hold it and try to get it in the center of the shape. That might be a little too far back, we'll see. Oh yeah, barely missed it, but that was good left and right. I've had some practice in this game, so I'm pretty pretty good at it. We're gonna see if we can get one. We got one more play, and then I'll show you guys how they actually rigged this game. So again, we're pressing it, and we're holding it. We're gonna try to aim for this orange square right here. That looks pretty good. Ooh, that's gonna be close. Let's see if we get it. Oh, look how close that was. That was really close. So you can see this game is a money maker because it is very addictive. You can get very close and still lose. But like I said, that does actually fit in every single one of these holes. I have tested it and they all are exactly the same size. Even though they're different shapes, they're all exactly the same size. So that's not the issue. So I know you guys didn't want to read all this, but this is the price setting. So basically it says the payout value adjustments for each hole are, you can set it from anywhere from zero to one in almost 10,000 plays. So you can make a lot of money on this game before it actually pays out a prize, up to 10,000 plays, which is about $10,000 if you have room, uh, $1 per play. So this right here, if you want to pause the video and just read this, this is actually how the game is rigged. It explains it right there. And basically it's just saying that the plunger will move forward a little bit more than it's supposed to. Even if you let it go at the exact right time for it to go in, you'll let go and it'll still move just a hair more. It's, it's really unnoticeable um, depending on what setting you have it on. But if you get good enough, you can tell actually if it rigs you or not. So I'll give you an example of actually how it rigs you. So right here on the display, it's kind of hard to see, but we'll go over to hole number two. And right now it's on zero plays, but you can increase that. We'll just do 100 plays. So that means after it's made $100, basically, it will pay out this prize and you just save it. And then everything's saved. And I'll show you exactly what happens when it regs you. So we're going to put our money in. And we will stop it. So it doesn't rig you here. This is 100% skill base going left to right. So that looks pretty good. But watch when I let go of the button, watch how it moves forward just a little bit more than it's supposed to. You can kind of see when I let go, you can hear it or see it. When I let go of the button, it moved forward a little bit more. That's why I lost going too far forward. And I'll show you guys again, just in case I didn't get the clip right. So we'll go this way. Looks pretty good. And watch when I let go, it will move forward more than it's supposed to. So if you want to slow that down, you can still see it. See it's hitting the same spot. So that's how you know it's rigged. It's not ready to pay out if it does that. 
Um, if they're expensive prizes, try every row because each row can be set differently. So if this one is rigged, this one might not be. It might be, it might not be. It just depends on how many times um, players play for each specific slot. And each one is set differently. You know, one might be ready, one might be not. They all might be ready, they all might be not. You just have to try it and see. It's worth putting a couple bucks in. If you can snag a new iPad, you know, some, something expensive like that, um, it might just be worth it. When you actually do win, I'll give you an example of what happens when you actually do win. The prize will fall from that hook. This door back here opens. These are all, this is a really secure machine. So if you're thinking about trying to shake this machine or something, trying to get a free uh, prizes out of it, it's not gonna happen because there is a shut door right there that will open when you win, but it's shut right now and it locks this prize door. So there's these things right here and there's no way to get into it unless it's, unless you win a prize. So I'll show you what happens when you actually win a prize. And they have a photo booth. Trevor and I are gonna go make out in it. Oh my God. We're gonna go for this orange one right here just cause it's the easiest for me to line up. We're gonna get them headphones back there. We're gonna try to line it up. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, let's see if we got it. That might have it. Yes, we got them. All right, so it went right in and watch. This door opens and these headphones will fall down now. Just like that. And then this door, it's really secure. Like I said, this doors are gonna close now. And then this one locked. And then we can just go in here. I have other prizes in here just that I won previously. We can go ahead, pull our headphones out. And just like that, we won some pretty expensive headphones. Like I said, this is my machine. So we're just gonna throw them over there like a little sir deal. Who said that? But anyway, yeah, so this is Drop the Hook. Pretty amazing game if you can win it. This is a really fun game, but it is rigged. It can be addictive. So make sure you guys spend your money wisely. If you keep losing, it's probably not ready to pay out. I'll see you guys in the next video. This was Drop the Hook. Sir Deal's amazing.